Hey everyone, welcome to On The Rocks. I'm your trail guide, Claudia Collins. Every week, me and my dog, Mia, are taking you along for our adventures as we check hikes, waterfalls, and other outdoor activities off of my Arizona bucket list. Today, we're hiking Government Springs Trail in Greer, Arizona. Government Springs Trail is a 5.3 mile out and back trail, and it's rated moderate on all trails, but I would say it's a little bit more on the easy side. To anyone that says Arizona is just a desert, I say welcome to Greer, Arizona, where it doesn't feel like the desert at all. Immediately, I'm in paradise. Until the beware of bears sign, it didn't occur to me that bears would be something to be concerned about, but anyways. The trail begins right along a tranquil creek and the fall colors were already appearing nearby and in the distance. We got to see all kinds of wildlife like this furry woolly bear caterpillar crawling across the ground. But when you look up, you see yellow aspen trees for miles. That's what we came for and that's what we got. The water was also so cool and refreshing and Mia had a blast drinking from the creek and hopping in any chance she could. But for me, it was a bit too cold for that, but cold was a nice change to encounter. The highlight of this hike is definitely the plant life. In the spring, it's known for beautifully blooming wildflowers, and in the fall, it's known for its gorgeous yellow aspen trees. Being able to experience fall is an absolute dream, although I'd be lying if I said I didn't have eyes in the back of my head after seeing that bear sign. I've been on the lookout for bear trap, traps, bear tracks, but so far so good. People from all over Arizona come to the White Mountains this time of year to enjoy the scenery. And with many nearby hikes and cute towns, there's endless outdoor activities to do in the White Mountains. Government Springs Trail is located in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, and it's a part of the largest Ponderosa pine forest in the world. On this particular day, we had to keep our eyes on the weather. The day started off sunny, but we knew a thunderstorm was looming. It was already super muddy with our pup along for the hike. We knew it would be best to turn around a tad early before the storm hit. But I can't come to the end of the trail without reminding you to leave no trace. I saw absolutely zero trash on this hike, and I would love for it to look just like this for you when you come and hike in the White Mountains. Oh, and remember how I said it was super muddy? Yeah, this was before the storm hit and we were already dodging deep mud holes, but it made it so much more fun. And here we are back at the trailhead. We hiked approximately four miles, so we didn't go all the way to the end, but the fall colors were absolutely beautiful and walking along the water was just so serene. It was a little muddy, as you can see, but so worth it and I would totally come back. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time on The Rocks.